comedy moment, or should I say moments, David J. Watson! <laughs> oh, yeah. So, come on, David, when you first auditioned, did you ever think that you'd be sat here at the most exclusive showbiz party of the year? To be honest, no, I didn't. Nicely summed up. Yeah. So, what's going on? How long did it take you to get down here? Two hours and nine minutes on the train. Oh. But it, it just took a bit longer because I, I walked to my house to the metro station. Right. And, and so, it's taken me from Piccadilly to Euston. Two hours and nine minutes. This could go on for a while. Let's hurry things up a little. Dave, you've literally been here for about 45 minutes and we haven't even spoke about you being number one. Mm. We spoke at anything but. How does it feel? Fantastic. It, it's great because I, I feel, even though I've not got through, if I believe in something, I, I, I will stick to it. Can you remember the talents that you've actually done? I can. I, I can actually go through. From, from the first year that we saw you? Oh, first year. It was 2008, three MPs. Hi there. Hello. What's your name? My name is David J. Watson, and my performance is uh, impressionist. All right, ready when you are, David. Right, thanks. Here we go, here we go. This is it. <laughs> Can the Prime Minister tell us how much British taxes have put up? <laughs> so, which MP was that? Yes, it was the right honourable William Hay. <laughs> and if you think that was questionable, wait until you see his David Blunkett. <laughs> I would like to congratulate Northern Ireland. I don't want to tinker with it. And those buzzers started a beautiful friendship. Because never before have we had an act so determined to entertain our judges year <laughs> after year yeah. after year after year. Yeah. Starting with his sensational sequel to David Blunkett, The Unforgettable Hulk in a Box. <laughs> what was that? Entirely undeterred, he came back the following year with the marvellous magician Mark II. <laughs> And that classic magic trick, pouring Guinness into a glass of water. That's amazing, David. <laughs> Thankfully, David remained determined to delight us when he returned for his Series 7 audition with the brilliantly baffling wall acrobatics. I just don't get it, guys. I don't know where this act can go. It can go home. But after being buzzed for the fourth time, he thankfully, for us, decided to try again, but this time in disguise. Hello. Hello. My name is Miss Direction. Your name's Miss Direction. No, it's not. Yes. Well, of course it's not, Simon. It's our comedy legend David in a dress, and he's about to astound us by eating a raw chilli. He's popped the pepper. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend putting a raw chilli in your mouth. Already where? I'm definitely not going to go there where the sun doesn't even shine. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Because it's a bit overcast over there. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Bloody awful. <laughs> but nearly making himself sick wasn't enough to pop off our David. Oh, no. He returned again for the unbelievable sick time in Series 9, where he enlisted the help of David oh, Williams. Yeah. Can I give you this milk control? What would you like me to do with it? I'm going to do my act. Mm. If you want to put it on pause, I can freeze. OK, play. Rewind. <laughs> Very good. OK, play. Fast <laughs> forward to the end. <laughs> Play. Is that the end? Yeah. OK, stop. <laughs> <laughs> and it looked like our number one act was finally about to get to the semi-finals. With two yeses from David and Amanda, 
It was all down to Simon. Please, Simon. Please, Simon. We just need one, one yes. OK, I've listened to David. I'm going to say, on behalf of the United Kingdom... Yes, this is it, this is it. Come on. Great Britain. No. Oh. Come back next year. <laughs>